your friends the friends you have will dictate how your life is gonna be in the next few years the friends you have the people you hang out with the people you spend time with with your time is unbearable and you will just wait that time on something that is unproductive or use it for something way way better you are outgrowing your friends as you are watching this you are a man of character and you know that whatever it takes in this life you know that you try to get everything you want in this lifetime as you are making progress in your in your work as you are leveling up how you speak as you are leveling up your physique your friends are being just losers same old jeffrey losers they are still unbearable they are still the jeffreys whilst you are trying to improve on your life and to bring up value to the world having friends that are unrecognizable unchangeable and are still doing the bad habits just like jeffrey you are certainly outgrowing them as you own self-improvement with me do you know that you are trying to be the best version of yourself by just watching this you having the most malicious comeback of all time it's by you getting on to self-improvement and there's one thing it starts with your friends so for the viewer who's watching here scroll down to this video and click the subscribe button right now so that you can get more people on to self-improvement when they're on self-improvement they're gonna be more competition and you're gonna be asking why why must i subscribe and i will have more competition that's what we need as men that's our fuel for success and that's how it gives us all of the life's opportunities it's just by competition and you will one day stumble upon a friend who is on self-improvement who's similar than you who goes to the gym every single day who meditates who journals who is grateful who's trying to eliminate the bad habits it starts by you subscribing to this channel so subscribe so there's one thing i want to specifically tell you in this video is that the friends you have whilst you are improving they are becoming losers as you are trying to level up, level up your dating skills, how you work, how you speak, how you stand as a man. They are just thinking of the latest game, Call of Duty, playing some Minecraft and some FIFA. Friends of that kind aren't the friends you would need for your lifetime. The friends you would need is for the man that goes to the gym. That goes to the gym who takes all of the credit who takes accountability which i know that it's you because you're trying to climb up and becoming like adonis but other men aren't as we are talking right now there is a man who made another girl pregnant as we are talking right now do you want that life where you don't have even have money the money you have you spend it on junk food and some and usage things just like alcohol weed or do you wanna be successful have high levels of testosterone produce 
and bring value into the world whilst you are penetrating deeply to the world and into your woman. One thing is called the crabs. The crabs are the people who are trying to pull you down. You might know this by your friends. If if your friends, right, as you are going into this journey of self-improvement, as you are dialing in, focusing on yourself, trying to improve the world and penetrating deeply into the world, it's only when your friends will look at you like, oh, he's trying to become successful. Let us pull him down. If you spend time with people, it's still the same thing that, oh, let me just go spend a, a time with a fat person and let's go eat a buffet. Would that be a right thing? Would you want to waste your time with crabs who are trying to pull you down? They would say, if there's a friend which is says, see you going to the gym. He says, oh, take a rest break, man. Why go to the gym tomorrow, man? Let's go take a drink, lad. Let's go take a drink. They aren't the friends you need. Because why? Ask yourself why. Why would you spend your time with crabs? You know that I blow you whilst they are trying to snip one of your legs and pull you down into the bucket. Adonis is already out of the bucket. But he, he didn't run away so that he can leave his friends and family behind. He's at the top of the brim of the bucket, holding the people who are trying to come up to help penetrate the world and penetrate it deeply. Crabs are one of the people who can pull you down. And there's one thing. As you are outgrowing your peers, you feel like that you are left out. As your friends, quote unquote, friends, are going to partying, drinking, smoking, sleeping up late. You might think that, oh, I'm missing a lot of time, but in reality, you're not. One day, they're gonna have a shitty life with shitty, with a shitty wife, and they won't penetrate deeply inside the world. Because men of these days, as we are trying to build up ourselves in self-improvement, they're trying to bring us down. Your enemy right now, as you're watching this, he's watching something else. He's watching something on how to attract a woman. So that is your competition, not your friends who are drinking. They are not your competition. But your competition is the man who's trying to steal your future wife. So open up, be angry, and go take everything you've got. You're not missing out. The only thing these Jeffreys are missing out is you trying to penetrate the world. And all of them at the same time trying to penetrate as well. So one thing, one advice I can give you. I would say you must stay relentless to your goals. Don't let anyone, especially unsuccessful people, tell you that, oh, this is impossible. How is it impossible? Because look at me. Right at the back, by 2026, as I'm trying to... Bring this commitment. I'm trying to get 2 million subscribers. As my goal, 2 million subscribers in 2 years, I know that it's achievable. By you limiting yourself that, oh, in 2 years, you cannot reach that kind. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will reach a million. I know that. By us thinking of goals that are higher than we think of, higher than our potential. We tend to achieve it. Not in the time frame you wanted it, but we will achieve it. So do not worry about your Jeffrey friends. Leave them. 
and just you, only you, focus on your goals and stay resilient. By you staying resilient in this place and this time, you know that you're going to take out space and be the man just like Adonis right by my side. And one thing I forgot to tell you is that when you're on self-improvement, you will drag and you will try to say, oh, let me just take a rest day. Because also today, I didn't want to film. I just wanted to do something else. But what did I do? I took my chair, I took the camera, my phone, and I started to film. So that's it for me. You thought that I forgot? No. Five push-ups right now and five sit-ups. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Before it falls. Do it every single day. By me and you. Improving our lives. Penetrating deeply into the world. You would realize that self-improvement was the best thing in your life. Sure, there will be times where you're going to be crying. You're going to say, oh, I hate my life. But at the end of that dark, darkened tunnel, at the end, there's a shining light. As I always say, people, hard times create strong men.